Why does Midas and the Ageless have so much in common and where are the combos right now? Today we find out as we expose seven secrets Fortnite don't want you to know about, starting with the mystery of the Chapter 3 Bunker. Now throughout the whole of Chapter 3, everybody wanted to know what was inside the bunker doors underneath the foundation statue. And today, this secret has finally been revealed. What did Fortnite have planned behind this door? Now Chapter 3 arrived with the foundation statue overlooking in the whole of the island. But as season after season went past, more and more people became more inquisitive on what was behind these doors. Some speculated it was the foundation's office. Others thought it was a secret entrance to the bridge and to the zero point. But either way, everybody wanted to know. And finally, after years of waiting, there was now a glitch, meaning you could get behind these locked statue doors. And what was behind? Well, nothing. After all of that, there was nothing. But Fortnite had a little secret. They actually had plans plans on a secret room that was going to be behind these doors and here it is up on screen here. As you can see this is leaked artwork from the designers on what they imagined would be this secret room under the foundation statue but it looks like it got scrapped. So after all of that the locked doors were for nothing. But this next secret will surprise a lot of you. And that is the location of Clombo. That's right. Did they actually just disappear? Well, this question has finally been answered and Epic have been wanting to keep it a secret from you. We entered chapter three with these mysterious piles of snow. And if you actually went up to these piles of snow, you could get close enough to see breathing coming out. Obviously, there was a creature in there hibernating. It only took a couple of weeks for these giants to emerge. And I think everybody pretty much fell in love with them. That was until chapter 3 season 2 where Colombo's just magically disappeared. But everyone was like kind of confused. Why did they just delete Colombo? But later on in that season, the mounds reappeared again. Was Colombo finally hibernating on the island again? As the season progressed, these mounds then got closer and closer to the collider until the collision live event happened. We went into season 3 expecting Colombo to be there, but... He wasn't, except there was a skull on the island. So, what happened to Colombo? Believe it or not, we actually know now. In Chapter 3, Season 3, if you approach the Haven NPC as Haven, she would have some secret dialogue on the whereabouts of Colombo. Haven was the island's child, so she was kind of keeping an eye on everything. It just so happened she had been following Colombo's footsteps, which led her to the edge of this pier just outside the zero point. She then goes on to say that the Colombos just disappeared in a bright white flash of light, pretty much suggesting they had rifted back to the reality they had come from. But why had Epic left a skull on the island? Well, there's actually good reasoning for this. This was one unfortunate Clombo that didn't make it to the rift in time and ended up dying on the island. And it was also a way for Epic to tell us that Clombo was never coming back. So it turns out Clombos are okay. They just rifted back to the reality they came from, I guess. What about the secret of the Herald? As we saw during the Fusion Live event, the Herald sacrificed her life for the last reality, covering herself in chrome and destroying reality zero, like kaboom. But did the Herald actually die? Well, it looks like this secret that Epic have been planning on has just been ruined by a future skin that Epic leaked during a skin survey. As you can see, this is the Herald in a brand new form. She's in amber and stone, suggesting that she's been within a tree for quite a long time for the amber to form. And would you look at that? Right now, there is a tree on the island, part of the old reality tree, in which the Herald died in, has now got someone that's broken out the back of it by the looks of it. Now, in no way is this confirmed that the Herald is alive, but I think Epic were trying to keep this a secret. I think the Herald might be coming back. But what's more surprising is the secrets of Raz. Now, this all started with the mothership just randomly appearing on the Fortnite island one day, just like out of nowhere. I mean, the Zero Point was contained within the Spire, so there was no way of them knowing that the Zero Point was there. Out of nowhere, this alien invasion kind of shifted our focus away from one of Fortnite's biggest secrets. Raz. Throughout season 6, he was obsessed with the Spire. He'd travelled all the way from God knows where to get to the Fortnite Island to pretty much study the Spire like he was obsessed with it. After talking to various NPCs as Raz, it was quite clear to see that 
you could easily get corrupted by the spy's power. But at that point, um, it was too late. He'd already uncovered an artifact, a shard of the cube. This artifact took over his body and turned him into the Glyph Master. The mothership with the last reality then appeared and destroyed the spire and Raz. With it all being wrapped up pretty quickly, the community were pretty disappointed that there was like no conclusion to the storyline of Raz or what he was actually up to. It just didn't make sense. Why did the mothership just randomly appear on the island? But it's only until you look back now that you realise that Raz actually had a very strong connection with the last reality this whole time. It was revealed that Raz's back bling actually held the biggest part of the puzzle this whole time on why the mothership and the last reality just appeared out of nowhere. I mean, this secret I'm about to tell you was literally in front of our eyes this whole time. The scroll that Raz was carrying around on his back actually had the Cube Queen's crown on it this whole time. Raz wasn't learning the secrets of the spy like he said he was. Instead, he was planning to lead the last reality to the island to begin this invasion. All he had to do was find the shard of the cube, which he did to lead him in the right direction. I mean, uh, I can't believe Raz was working for the last reality this whole time. And just like Raz, Paradigm has a very well hidden secret too. During last season, if you notice, she was the only member of the seven that was able to escape the chrome. By doing this, she was then able to foil the last reality's plan of stealing the zero point as she caused zero fusion to happen to protect the zero point again. But between the time of her escaping and coming back to the island, she escaped to reality 659. But where is this? Fortnite never actually explained where this location was, but that is until you piece the puzzle together. Reality 659 is actually the reality where we see Paradigm here right now starting zero fusion. As you can see, an offshoot of the zero point comes through, breaks into the reality and steals part of this island, reality 659. The zero point then drags it into its reality and then it uses it to forge part of the map. The snow biome we have on the island right now is actually reality 659, the, the place that Paradigm went to. The futuristic part on the island, that is reality 153. And the medieval reality with the young Geno is actually reality 602. Paradigm accidentally bought reality 602 and reality 659 together, which isn't good. Zero Fusion we know was a big risk and kind of like a last resort and it's backfired. Listen to this. Paradigm accidentally bought an early version of the Seven known as the Reality Warriors and a young version of the Imagine Order known as the Oathbound to the island together. I mean, obviously this is only going to end one way. But that's not the only secret on the island right now that Fortnite don't want you to know about. Because it looks like Midas Rex is from Reality 602 as well. That's right, the man that's had a ton of speculation on returning to Fortnite might actually be coming back. A lot of the community have noticed similarities between the Ageless and Midas Rex. From like the armor, the sword they carry, the tabard, and a ton more. And in the works right now is a brand new perk called Midas's Touch, which actually gives you 40 more AR ammo and extra gold when you eliminate someone. This brand new perk is set to release soon, but is it too good to be true? Is this enough evidence to confirm the return of Midas? I mean, I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see.